Hi guys, so today I'm trying the Jeffree Star Cremated Palette. Um, this is his latest release. I was able to get it upon launch. It finally just arrived today, um, so I'm very excited to try it. I nearly tackled the mailman as he was delivering it to my doorstep, so sorry. Um, and I am going to open her up, so let's get started. So I thought it was kind of cool that the packaging not only has the logo from Jeffree Star, Cosmetics, but it also has um, an urn uh, for like ashes, which I thought was kind of cool just to change up the game a little bit and go with the theme. Um, so it's very nice. And in the packaging, rather than the pink, it is black to go along with the theme. And open it up. There is even more packaging, which I really like this a lot. Um, it just all ties in with the theme together here, um, rather than just all black or even just staying with the, the pink that he normally does. Um, I think that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna open this up here and take a look. There's bubble wrap, which is always nice. I hope it stays fresh. So here is the palette. Um, this is the first time Jeffrey has put his face on a palette. Rather, he normally has the name of the palette on there. I think it's a nice change. Um, the, de the design work is very pretty there. Um, looks like he's going to ashes and standard back. Um, let's open this up. Now it does have a nice full size mirror. It comes with a protector, and the mirror does fold all the way back, which is nice. And here is the palette in and of itself here. So this palette, um, there are 24 shades, um, which is a lot for a palette, I think. Um, it's a good mix of matte shades, shimmer shades, and like a foil, which she calls. It's like a mega shimmer. It's like super condensed sparkles. Um, their imprints are on here are pretty cool. Some have the Jeffree Star logo. Some of them have an urn. Some of them have a hearse. There are a few um, graves on here. And uh, it's pretty cool. Um, first things first. I'm a realist. Gonna take Casket Ready which is the third shade over here in the palette. I'm gonna put that on my lid to put in my, to secure my primer that I have on. And so I'm gonna take a brush and flip over to my mirror here and put it on. Nicholas, what is you doing? You sound like Chewbacca. So now that I've done both eyes, I'm going to take the shade Wednesday here um, in the crease and blend it upwards. I literally have a Chewbacca at my house. I don't know what he's doing. So next I'm going to take Death Blow, uh, which is kind of like a pure white um, matte shade, and just going to put it underneath my eyebrows, above the crease blend here. Um, so let me grab my brush.
It's really pretty. It's going on nice and pigmented. So next I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush and blend everything together and give it a little bit of smoothness here. So let's do that. So next I'm going to take the shape Grave Digger, which is the third one here. I'm going to put this in my crease to darken it just a bit um, and add that in. So I do that. And blend upwards and go from there. So next I'm just going to take the tiniest amount of hearse, which is the black shade here, it's a matte. Um, I'm going to put that on the outer corner. Um, I have heard in other videos that it's super pigmented, so take the minimalist amount of product and just do that. And I'm just going to tap a few times, dust off the excess and just go in from there. All right, not bad. So this is the first shade where I had just the tiniest bit of fallout. Um, I mean, it's expected with shades at times. I've never met a palette that's perfect, and I probably never will. Um, and I'll dust that off in just a second. So I'm going to take the shade R.I.P. here on the lower lash line, just dragging it down just a bit. So let's do that. So next I'm going to take a brush, flat brush, and spray it with some spray. And I'm going to take it into the shade Death Certificate, which is here with the hearse. And put that on my lids here. is going on very nicely here. So next I'm going to take Diamond Ashes to lighten up the look in my inner corner and to bring it down to connect underneath here uh, with a flat brush. Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my second look with the Jeffree Star cremated palette. I'm going to be doing more of a softer look today. Um, yesterday I did do a darker uh, smoky eye. And um, 
I ended up getting so overwhelmed and busy, um, I have never did a um, final, final view on it. I do have some photos of it, but I realized when I was editing last night that I never filmed my full face and everything, so you get my pictures, but I, I will do that for my second look here. Um, so let's get started. So I'm going to take burial gown here um, and put that on my lids to set my primer. Um, let's do that real quick. So next I'm going to take Last Respects here. Um, I'm going to put this in the crease with a fluffy brush um, and start building from there. Let's see. So next I'm going to take Solemnly Swear, um, put it on the outer corner of my eyes, and uh, take that in kind of a V-shape. Uh, so let me... So next I'm going to wet my flat brush here and take the shade Mausoleum, which is here. I'm going to put this on my lid. Well, I'm going to put it in the center and the outer corner of my lid um, and do a little wet look with that. It's a little bit lighter than I expected, but uh, I'm not mad at it. I, I kind of like it. The pan, it looks a little bit darker, but this is kind of gives a more golden vibes to it. So this is kind of cool. So next I'm going to take the shade Diamond Ashes on the inner corner here uh, with my flat brush and Give that highlight in there. I want to blend these two together here, so I'm just tapping them lightly to kind of get the color to nicely, nicely blend together. So next, I'm going to take the shade Obituary here um, to put in my under under eye, line it, um, and finish up this look. Uh, once I do that, I'm going to put my mascara, lashes, my face on, and then go through my review and final thoughts. So let's do that. So 
this is my final look with lashes, mascara, and my face. Um, it's a little up close here. You can see the color combination blended in nicely. Um, I do like this palette a lot. Um, there was, I only encountered two shades uh, with the tiniest bit of fallout when I use them. I think I use 10 or 12 shades in the 24 uh, in the 24 palette uh, shade palette here. Um, so far, I have no complaints. Um, the shimmers go on nicely. The mattes go on uh, beautifully. Um, there are a lot of looks that you can create with this palette. When I when I first saw it, I wasn't sure about it, um, but I'm starting to realize the combinations, especially with 24 shades, it's a lot for a palette. You can really, really dig in here and try them all out. Um, I have heard that the collection, the cremated collection, will be back in stock sometime this month. Don't know when. I guess Jeffree Star website might have more information. Um, but this is my second look, and I really like it a lot. So, um, if you like this video, don't be afraid to subscribe and like. Uh, I greatly appreciate your support, um, and I'll see you next time. Yo, Chewbacca is not giving up today. This should have been like a 20 minute thing. This is taking like two hours. Okay, so next I'm gonna take this shade RIP and put it on the lower lash line just to 